So this video is about desalinating oil and gas produced water. My name is Ben and this is Derek and this is a pilot plant that just came back from Alberta. A water flood enhanced oil recovery field trial. Specifically polymer flood. Derek, why don't you tell us about that? So we did a pilot in Alberta. We were trying to desalt the water so that they could save money on polymer usage. Cool, and that's because as they push the water underground to push up more oil, it picks up salt. And it, the water comes back more salty. And is it the more salty it is, the more polymer they use. And why would they care about that? Because when we're talking about polymer, we're talking about millions of dollars a year in polymer. So if we can cut that by half, we can also cut it down by millions of dollars. So paying for a plant and paying for operating it, in some cases, saves the oil company's money, improves oil production, and actually helps the bottom line. So this is one of these rare cases where investing in water treatment can be a profit center. And we did that with this thing. And what is that? So this is an electrodialysis reversal stack. So it's a collection of ion exchange membranes. In this case, it's the saltworks membranes, which are resistant to oil, and they don't swell and break like other divinyl benzene type membranes might. So people who are watching this who've heard of EDR before, they'll know that EDR is 50-year-old technology, right? like the second most widely used membrane desalter in the world. And what you said is it was possible because the membranes can withstand the conditions. But I think it's also important about the process plant too. So we're going to go over for a tour of this process plant. So this plant was also used at field trials in America at a petrochemical facility and um, it can treat waters that have high organics, high dirty stuff that would normally foul membranes. But it's made for some, from some pretty standard kit with an innovative process built from that standard kit. So Derek, what kind of things are we talking about here? We're talking about standard off-the-shelf PVC fittings, low pressure pumps, plastic tanks, and automations and control sensors. Let's go take a look at that. So we love automation and controls it's because we trust computers. As long as they're on, they, they tend to be quite reliable. Um, this is the control system. What sort of things does it do? So this makes sure that the plant is operating 24-7, notifies the operator of any alarms, and it makes sure that the plant is also self-cleaning. Cool. So we missed the front end. Before the water goes in, it has to go through some nominal pre-filtration. We're going to go take a look at that. So we're in our factory, and this is a machine we're building for a Northern Canadian mine. And this is the team that delivered the pilot in Alberta. Let's get back to work. So, Derek, what's this contraption? This is our pre-filtration module. It's made of all off-the-shelf kit. It's fully automated and it removes enough particulate so that we can run our EDR process. So it's a pretty simple process. You got one of these, you got an EDR stack, you can treat produced water. Thank you very much.